Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Microsoft Teams. I'm using Microsoft Teams on my Mac. It's and it's the Teams app that I'm using. So today we're going to look at how you can use Teams as a screen recorder. So I've opened up the Teams app. I've gone to the calendar. In order to access the record feature, you need to be in a meeting. So I find the easy way to do this is to use the Meet Now feature. So we can click on that button, which is just to the left of the new meeting option. We click Start Meeting. We can then just check our audio settings. So I'll make sure that it's got my microphone connected. And we can click Join Now to start the meeting. Having done that, a couple of things to start meetings. We just click, literally click Start Recording. I also like to do the start transcription. So we have uh, a transcript being captured, um, which I can then use to improve accessibility. But before we go on to start recording, we need to choose what it is we want to record. So initially I'm just gonna show you how to record using PowerPoint. So you've got the PowerPoint live feature. I find that's the easiest way to, to record a PowerPoint. Um, and the advantage this has over just using the record within PowerPoint feature. And if you want to find out more about that, then click on the banner in the top right hand corner and you can access that. Um, this allows you to create the transcript, which is a really useful thing for just improving accessibility. So let's open up a presentation. And then in present mode in the top, you can choose whether you're going to record just the content and have you to one side or use the standout feature. Now with both, I've tried both, you'll find that on the finished video, you won't appear in this view. You will appear to the left or the right of the video. You'll just be cut out or not cut out. So in both cases, they will see you. Uh, one will just be you with a black background and one will be you with whatever background you've chosen to have. So just be aware of that. So having got that, my, my presentation ready to record. I come up to my three dots and I can click start recording. I can also click start transcription. And it starts actually it starts automatically when you start recording. So that's that's now recording. You can see there's the transcription and I can navigate through my presentation. Now you may be tempted to think well I can I can make use of the pointer or the pen but they will not record. It's only going to be your presentation. So you could continue to talk through your presentation, flicking through and going through all of the elements that you want. And uh, If in, in going through your presentation, you also want to share something else, you could stop your screen share and choose a different source. And again, you've got those options. If you just pin the controller at the top there, you've got the options to do the various presenter modes, but again, you're only going to record the content for whatever reason. When you do this, yes, you get a preview, but it's not going to record that preview. And you can see I've got various preview options, but it's not going to record those options. It's just going to record the background screen. So I tend to focus just on the content. If I minimize my teams for a minute, I could go through and record stuff. So I could go through and do a demo on this, so I could upload a video and, and go through that process. So that's how you can do a recording. Uh, if we now stop sharing, my transcript's there, I'm still recording at the moment. So when I'm happy that I've finished doing my demonstration, I can come up to the three dots, I can stop recording and transcription and I now need to access my video. So what I do is I can leave that call. If I go to my OneDrive, I will find that I've got a folder called recordings and in there I will find my video. So I can click on the video. I'm not gonna listen to it. I can mute that, but there, there's my video. Now I could share it that way and, and allow people to watch it, 
but it's only going to work on well on certain devices if they're on the mobile phone it may not work they may have to download it to watch it so i think it's much easier to share your recording via microsoft stream or youtube or whatever is platform you think is is most effective for you so in this example i'm going to use microsoft stream so i click download i will download that video and save that I can then toddle across to Microsoft Stream. I can browse for my video. And it was the last one that I've just recorded. Uh, it's in my downloads folder. There it is. Dee, 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 dee. Let's go date added. So it'll be one of the last ones. Wait for it to appear. Dee, 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 dee. Let's go back and Downloads again, and there it is. So I can see that there. I can choose that, I can click open, and I can start to upload that. I could add a new title, I could add a thumbnail, and I could set permissions as to who I wanted. So I could either share it with specific people or groups. But if you want more detail on how to upload and share videos using Microsoft Stream, then do click on the link uh, beneath this video, and I've got a guide on how to do that. Uh, and that will go through how to use Stream. So there's a quick go at using Microsoft Teams as a screen recorder. Hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.